cold and flu season is very much upon us. And lots of you have been asking me, what can you eat, drink, do, or take to help prevent catching a cold or a flu? And then what to eat when you're sick? And also what to eat to recover once you start feeling yourself again. So I'm Dr. Federico Marti. I'm a medical scientist and registered public health nutritionist. I'm going to kick off by helping you prevent catching that cold or flu or virus. So start off with the basics. Hygiene is super important. Washing your hands, sneezing into your elbow, and using a tissue when you need to blow your nose and then throwing that away. Second thing is remember to ventilate the spaces you're in, especially when you're sharing space with others. If you're in an office space or a co-working space, or perhaps you're working from home, just open your windows. Make sure you're ventilating your space. This helps to reduce the viral load in the room. If you reduce the viral load, you reduce the chance of catching it or catching enough of it to make you really sick. Now let's get to nutrition. What can you do? What can you eat? Remember that your gut health is the center that helps your immune system function properly. Feed your gut microbes and you will be feeding your immune system to work at its best. Plenty of evidence showing very high fiber diets and fermented foods combined are amazing for immune system function. So eat plenty of high fiber plants, that's your beans and peas, your nuts and seeds, and your whole grains like your oats and your quinoa and your barley. Eat them every single day and snack on fruits throughout the day. And then add some ferments, whether that's natural yogurt for you, kefir, maybe it's sauerkraut, maybe it's a spicy kimchi, maybe it's miso, whatever ferment you like. Try to have three a day. If you do those two things, if you have your high fiber plant foods and your fermented foods, your gut microbiome is going to be really happy and it's going to help your immune system to function as best. That is how I try to protect myself and my family. It doesn't mean you definitely won't get sick, but it can actually reduce your risk. I hope that's helpful.